Out of the 71 total kits in Roblox Bed Wars, 23 are absolutely terrible. In this video, let's see how we can fix each one of these kits. Number one, Adatunde, or what I call Batabunde. This kit really lives up to the name of being a free kit. Adatunde is good if you can manage to murk 20 people in the lobby, but the moderators at Bed Wars managed to make its starting weapon worse than a wooden sword. Adatunde needs to have its frosty sword way better in beginning game. Adatunde is good for PvP, but this next kit, I cannot say the same. Alchemist. I have never seen anybody use Alchemist in win. Unless you're a tanker or mini Bloxia, Alchemist is the most horrific kit you can use. You would better off be playing Roblox Bed Wars on a Nintendo DS than using the Alchemist kit. But one way this kit could be buffed is if you increase the drop rate of the items and buff the healing potions and poison potions so you can have a better chance of winning PvP with this awful kit. Most people know about the Alchemist, but barely anybody uses this next kit, Warrior. Only prehistoric players own this kit, but this kit has never been used because the slight armor boost is not really that needed. One way this kit can become amazing is if you added cheaper items to the item shop, or added something like a Warrior's Rage ability to do buff damage. Warrior can reduce the cost of items, but Merchant Marco manages to be a dookie bookie version of a tier 1 generator. No one in nobody's grandmother will ever use this kit. Although the 15 iron boost at the start of the game is pretty good, one way we can make this kit actually good is by buffing the generator in the beginning of the game. Instead of having a tier 1 generator, make it a tier like 0.5 generator. Merchant Marco may be able to get you good items, but this next kit can get you richer than anybody else if used right. Beekeeper. This kit is probably one of the best kits on this list. However, after its nerf, it is not good at all anymore. Having to run around the map like an NPC looking for bees for 25 minutes is not a fun way to get back. Decrease the amount of bees needed for emeralds and increase the drop rate of bees and you got yourself one of the best farmer kits in the game. The next kit though does the absolute opposite of farming, Zenith. Zenith is a great kit for 3v3, but in regular mode, Zenith will never be used because 6 emeralds for a satellite dish that can be broken in 2 seconds is the worst trade that you can ever have. If you decrease the amount of items that you get from Zenith, but decrease the cost of the dish to 3 emeralds as well, Zenith can become a great kit for team modes and even solos. But this next kit, I wouldn't even use in any of those modes. Drill Man! Or waste all of your items for 2 extra emeralds, man. Drillman can be easily beat by better farmer kits like Cletus or Cyber. Man, I don't even think I've ever said Farmer Cletus has been better than a kit, but that is how bad this kit is. This kit is a very fun idea, however, Drillman can be made so much better if you decrease the cost of the drill to 1 emerald or 5 diamonds and make the drill have even more health. But somehow, Drillman manages to be even better than Builder. The devs really thought they could sneak the scaffolding buff into Builder and think we didn't know. Oh, we did know, but it's that bad that we could care less. The only way we can make Builder good again is if fortified blocks are not TNT proof, but it takes more than one TNT to break these blocks instead of the blocks just being harder to break. Quite possibly the worst kit on this list, we have smoke. Smoke is so bad it might just have to get thrown into the garbage, but one way we could fix this is allowing smoke to step on the smoke blocks and make the smoke bomb last for a longer time than 10 seconds. I mean seriously, what can you do in 10 seconds in bed wars that is worthwhile? You can maybe break a bed with an invisibility potion, but the next kit won't even let you do that. Santa. This kit is so bad, I don't even want to be mean to it. It has gotten bullied so much, I kind of just feel bad. The only way we can fix this kit is decrease the time for the tactical Santa nuke and increase the drop rate of the TNT so we can make this kit from horrible to just bad. This kit can break beds easily, but the Yeti kit still isn't even good at that. I think the only way that you can buff the Yeti kit is decrease the wait time for the roar and allow for you to roar on your own base and make it more fortified, kind of like a less buffed version of Builder. Also, let Yeti buy penguins to fortify your own base. Man, I swear, y'all should just let me become a Bed Wars developer. Your boy can fix this game so much. <laughs> One way you can do that is by liking the video and subscribing when nobody's on so you can never, ever miss a video. It's free and only takes five seconds. What kits do you guys think should be fixed in Roblox Bed Wars? Comment down below and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. This is your boy Sam McCool and I'll catch you later. Oh, God.